I think I have a piece of chocolate in my hair that is embarrassing. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my all-time favorite nude lip products. So that includes lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip liners, and lip glosses. I have a bunch of stuff to get through. So if you are interested, then let's just go ahead and hop right into today's video. And while you guys are watching, it'd mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. And now let's just go ahead and jump on in. I'm just going to start with what I currently have on my lips right now, and that is a liquid lipstick. Every time I wear this specific color, everyone always asks what I'm wearing. I have the picture up right now on my Instagram story, and I probably had like four or five people DM me about this lip color right here. So this is the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Namaste. I will say this isn't 100% transfer proof, but it is a very like puffy velvety formula if that makes sense like it's very airy it's not super drying i really like it because i can definitely still rub my lips together and i don't think it's very drying at all it is what i'm currently wearing on my lips right now and i can just reapply and reapply and it never gets like cakey or dry or anything like that even though i'm wearing this shade i'm just going to swatch everything on my wrist so you guys can kind of see comparisons as we go down but this is the first one, the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint and Namaste. So that is one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites that definitely doesn't dry down 100%, but I really love this formula. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lip Color in the shade 05 Loyalist. This is one of my most popular bridal shades, I would say. It's just a tad bit lighter than the current shade I'm wearing right now if you guys can see it's a little bit of like a baby pinkier color whereas this one's a little bit more of like a rose color so i really really love this the smell of it is amazing the feeling of it i feel like some people either really love it or really hate it just because it doesn't dry down 100 which i personally like but some people really like a really matte lip um and it can get a little bit sticky but in my personal opinion i don't mind it and this i promise you is the most long wearing liquid lipstick or any lipstick, any lip product that you could ever put on your lips. I have every single color of this formula right here and it does not budge. Anytime I'm wearing it to the salon, I actually have trouble after my 13 hour days coming home, taking a shower and my lipstick actually still doesn't come off even with a shower. So I definitely have to get some like eye makeup remover and wipe my lips off because it does not budge for anything but this is one of my favorite formulas and it's super inexpensive so i wanted to mention that one if you're looking for more of a drugstore side and speaking of drugstore another one i really like this is a very thin formula this is the nyx lingerie lipsticks i really really like this whole line this color specifically is called satin ribbon and this is a very very pale nude so this color i won't actually wear it alone i'll kind of top off like something like this or just a really dark nude um, with this right here so this actually reminds me a lot of the jeffree star i'm nude liquid lipstick but that is the shade right there. So you can see how they kind of go from darkest to lightest right there. I'm not doing it on purpose, but I just wanted to show you um, kind of like the difference between the three. So that right there is satin ribbon. And again, super inexpensive, really good formula, super long lasting. And I just genuinely really enjoy this whole line. The thing that I really like about it is that it does range from super light to super dark. So you're gonna have the perfect nude for every type of skin tone. Um, I really, really like that one. And while we're on the topic of more affordable lip colors, the ColourPop Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks are really good as well. These are going to dry down 100%. It says satin, but honestly, it's very, very matte, and it is very, very... I wouldn't say drying. Some people think they're super drying. The ultra matte ones are very drying, but this one, I honestly think they fade beautifully on the lips, at least for me personally. Um, and the two colors I have are Aquarius and Echo Park. So I'm gonna show you what these two shades look like aquarius is one of their like cult favorites it's just a really really pretty nude color that matches a lot of different skin tones i'm pretty sure that's the one that kathleen lights came up with they're obviously both very similar but this is aquarius right here on the top and then this is echo park right here on the bottom so again super similar but i really like the formula of these two if you're looking for obviously a liquid lip it's going to be a little bit drier than a lipstick but if you're a liquid lip type of girl these are really really good for the price point i believe they're only like five to seven dollars somewhere around that so really really good ones and these are really good nudes if you're looking for that 
If I could pick an all-time favorite nude lip color, this would probably be it. I'm sure you guys could have guessed this is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. I really personally like his liquid lipsticks. They're so good. They're one of the first products I ever tried from him. And ever since then, everything else I've found from his whole makeup line has just been amazing. So this is going to be the most pale color, but it does remind me a lot of the satin ribbon. So this is in the shade I'm Nude. You guys can clearly see that this is the palest shade, but it does look a lot like Satin Ribbon right here, the NYX one. So very, very similar, except different price points. I believe the NYX one is like $7, and this one I think is like $18, if I'm correct. But this is just one of my favorites. It's always in my little pouch. I take this pouch with me everywhere, and this is one of those lip products that is just always in there. It's a staple. I pair it with a really good nude um, lip liner and then some gloss, and I'm ready to go and I know it's gonna last all day long as well but if you're looking for something a little bit darker because I know that obviously super super pale nude but I'm the type of person that likes a really pale nude um, and this one is birthday suit and the other one I have is Christmas cookie so I'll show you kind of compared side by side to I'm nude this one's gonna be a little bit more of like a pinkier like a warmer pink so this right here is birthday suit and that's the one that's right underneath i'm nude so it is still a little bit lighter but it's more of like a peachy pink type of color um and then the other velour liquid lipstick is the christmas cookie and this is very popular from his collection as well this you're getting very similar color to the one that i have on my lips right now so you can see that last one right there very similar to the first one which is what I currently have on my lips so again really really love this formula I feel like it's truly like velvet velour liquid lipstick um but yeah I absolutely love that one and then another last liquid lipstick that I have to share with you guys this is from dose of colors I'm not sure if this is available anymore I want to say it is I know it's on the Namie's website, but this is a mob story, and this is from the Desi and Katie um, collab that they did. And this is one of my all-time favorite lip colors in the entire world, lip formulas. It lasts all day long. If I could pick one bridal shade, every single one of my brides, bridesmaids, they all pick this shade, and it looks so beautiful on all skin tones. It's very universal, and it is just the most beautiful amazing it's just it's the perfect nude it's this one right here on the end it's just a perfect kind of rose color if you guys can see i love it every single person that i put it on it looks beautiful on and the formula is just so comfortable it doesn't give you butthole lips I love it. I truly, truly love this. I wish they would come out with more liquid lipsticks that were exact same formula, but just different shades because I would probably buy every single one of them. But again, this is a mob story from Dose of Colors. I tried their other liquid lipsticks and those are very, very drying and cracking. So I definitely don't recommend those ones, but this one specifically is like my baby. I hope I never run out of it because truly this is like my wedding color for like every single bride. The next category of this video is bullet lipsticks. Now I feel like these are the OG where it all started and then liquid lipsticks became a very popular thing last year and now I feel like a lot of people are now going back towards the bullet lipstick formula just because it is a little bit more comfortable on the lips. You can kind of switch it a little bit easier if you're wanting to do multiple colors. Um, it's not as permanent. It's not going to stay as long but nonetheless I have found some formulas that do last for quite a while and my favorite one from the bullet lipstick formula is the urban decay they have a cream formula and then a comfort matte formula so i'm going to show you a couple shades of my favorite urban decay bullet lipsticks this one right here is naked and this is the cream formula so this is a really really beautiful everyday kind of safe nude color it's a little bit more on the pinky side i've learned that about a lot of their lipsticks they're a little bit more on the pink side so that right there is urban decay naked really really good lipstick they definitely last a very long time and they're super comfortable on the lips even their comfort matte formula this right here is stark naked and this is their comfort matte and the comfort matte is definitely not drying at all so if you're wondering that is 
stark naked right there so that's a little bit more warm tone a little bit more on the nude that one's a little bit more on the pinky side so they're really really pretty if you mix them together and then another one from the comfort matte formula is back talk this is very very popular with brides especially in the fall time but it's just a beautiful romantic kind of rose color which is this one right here it's a really good price point too i believe these lipsticks are about 17 dollars they're really really good i love them they last all day long on me and reapplying them isn't a pain in the butt because you're not having like those butthole or cracked lips or anything like that so really really like these urban decay three colors right there it looks as though i was mistaken those urban decay lipsticks are 19 dollars, not 17 dollars, but they're really really good if you're looking for a good high-end lipstick now another one of my favorite bullet lipstick formulas is from mac these are og these have been around for such a long time they're a cult favorite and i have so many beautiful nude colors to show you guys these are usually my go-to they're super easy to reapply a lot of my brides like these they just have a very good variety for different skin tones and different skin types um, and they do have a bunch of different formulas with them so they have satin they have cream sheen they have matte so you definitely get a variety of different kind of formulas within the collection as well. So the first one I wanted to show you guys is Cream, Pu Cream Cup. Um, and that is, my lipstick's a little bit like gross because it is melted, but it's this baby pink color right here that you guys can see. I love that one so much. And this one is the Cream Sheen formula. So it is very, very creamy very very pretty it has a little bit of like a glossy look to it but it definitely isn't going to be sticky um, and then Japanese maple is another really good one this one's a little bit more neutral of a nude if you're not looking for something so pinky you can kind of see the difference with between the two. Oh my god this is so hard to like twist my arm but you can see the difference between you can see how shiny they both are they're just really really good favorites that I've had from the beginning this one's melted as well that's the only thing I will say about these is if you leave them in your car they're definitely going to melt so don't do that um another one of my favorites this is the satin formula and this is like an OG fave and this is the shade myth so this is a very very pale nude color I love it so much it is this one right here so you can kind of see the difference between the two up here they're a little bit more shiny than that one right there so that's myth and then another beautiful one is a flesh pot now this right here is definitely super super nude as well as you guys can tell I'm a fan of like super nude lipsticks so that right there is flesh pot it's even lighter than myth but it's very very similar but i do have some really really good where is it i need to find the one i'm talking about i'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit weird the sun keeps going behind the clouds and then coming back in so that plays a huge part whether i'm like cool toned or warm toned right now so just ignore that and bear with me i'm gonna move right along i have two matte formulas from the mac collection and these are a little bit more of a darker nude or just like a regular nude if you're not into the super pale look like how all of these ones are right here i want to kind of show you guys these ones so you have options so this is honey love which is a really really good um just kind of like everyday nude color and even though it's matte it's not super uncomfortable or anything on the lips this right there is honey love so if you guys can tell is a lot darker than these ones right here but nonetheless it is still a beautiful everyday color love that one it's just a staple in everyone's collection and then another beautiful one i feel like this is the perfect kind of kylie jenner lip if i could think of anything to call this it's like a darker kind of rustic nude color if i could describe it in any way which is this one right here it's like a brick nude if that makes sense and that right there with some lip liner and like a little bit of a pale lip i feel like that's like the perfect kylie jenner lip i don't know why like maybe i don't know maybe i'm wrong but i just feel like that's like kylie in a lip but yeah nonetheless these are two beautiful colors if you're looking for a good kind of variety of colors i would check out the whole mac counter just because they have so many different ones to choose from if you guys saw my entire mac lipstick collection you'd be like girl chill because i probably have like 20 something mac lipsticks and at one point i probably had like 30 something and i have duplicates of different ones so i can put like a mac myth inside of my purse and then i can have one here for my vanity as well 
super extra but i just can't lose them because i love them so much and they just always used to be like my favorite and og and they're usually always my go-to they're just easy like i already know how they're gonna wear how they're gonna last and i just I love them. So I have one more expensive bullet lipstick and then one affordable bullet lipstick left to tell you guys about. Now this one is a very, very pricey one. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is in the shade Pillow Talk. This is definitely one of her most popular lipsticks that I've heard everybody talking about. And this is what it looks like down here. So as you guys can tell, it's like a perfect everyday neutral pink color, nude color. I love it. It is beautiful, but it is $34. And you guys have heard me talk about these ones that are 19, MAC ones that I believe are 17. So for $34, this is definitely a very hefty price tag. But the packaging of it is very beautiful. It has the CT right up here on the top. And then it's just a gold, really, really pretty lipstick. But for $34, I'm not really sure that that's worth it especially considering that the next one I'm talking to you guys about is very similar in packaging. And this is like $5. This is the ColourPop Luxe Lipsticks. I love these so much. I have two colors to show you guys that are nude, but a lot of their other ones that I do have aren't nude. They're more of like pinkies or roses, and they're so, so beautiful. I love them. I wear them every day. This is the shade What's Your Sign, and this is the cream formula. So if you guys can see, it's very similar to the pillow top, but it's a little bit more on the neutral side, side, a little bit more on the neutral side than pillow top. Pillow top is a little bit more on the rosy pink side, but this one is still beautiful nonetheless. And it's $5, so why not? At least I think it's $5, $5, $7, $6, whatever it is. This is the other nude shade that I love. This is Quickie, so it's a little bit lighter than What's Your Sign, but it is so beautiful. It's like the perfect pink. It's not too pink though. It's like very warm pink, if that makes sense, but I love it so much. And if you guys can see right here, there's like little stars like star designs imprinted into the lipstick. It is very beautiful packaging and I think for like an eighth of the price, it's definitely worth it to get this one rather than the $34 one. So always, always recommend those ones. They're like my favorite, they're my go-tos. And these right here are all the nude bullet lipsticks. How beautiful. It's just a beautiful sight to me. It's crazy that I can make like a 30 minute video all about nudes, but I mean, come on, how could you not? Next category is lip liners. I'm just gonna speed through these because I have two and one of them isn't with me because I ran out. The NYX Natural Lip Liner. It is in the shade Natural and it is NYX Retractable Lip Liner. It's so good and it's like $5. It's a perfect nude. I love it so much. Go get it because you do not need a high-end lip liner. So another one of my favorites is the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner. I use this in every single one of my tutorials. It's kind of pathetic. This is in the shade Nonstop Nude. Um, I don't have the natural one to compare it to this one, but this is nonstop nude right there. So it is the perfect nude lip liner. And I believe this is like $3. So even less expensive than the next one. And it's available at like CVS, Ulta, Walgreens, Walmart. I love this one so much. So definitely recommend this. I actually don't have any high end lip liners to show you guys. Those are literally the only two that I have to talk about. So I'm just going to move right along to lip glosses as our last category of this video and i have a lot of lip glosses to talk about so let's get into those i'm going to start off with one of my favorites which is kind of a hybrid between like a lip balm lipstick and lip gloss all in one and this is the mark jacobs i believe it's the enamored hydrating lip gloss stick this is in the shade 554 sugar sugar and you basically so it just looks like this beautiful packaging and then you take it off which i was a little confused about and you kind of just like roll it up and this right here is what it looks like so it's a very very beautiful beautiful kind of nude just like baby pink color and it's really pretty to put on top of something or if you just want to wear it alone that's the reason i say it's a really pretty kind of like hybrid because you can wear it by itself 
You can top off a lipstick with it. Um, it looks very hydrating on the lips. It's not going to dry your lips out. It's not going to dry out at all. Um, and it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. I just think this is a beautiful staple. If I don't want something that's too overpowering, it doesn't look like I did too much on my lips. So if I'm wearing like very natural, just kind of like mascara and some concealer and some bronzer, I'll throw some of this on it. It really just kind of ties the whole look together and completes it really well. So I wanted to throw this one kind of in the mix of all of them. And then one of my all-time favorite lip gloss formulas I discovered this year. I don't know how I ever went without this formula. This smells and looks and just feels amazing. This is a Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. Love this one. It is so... Oh, I, don't, I can't even explain what this smells like. It is just like the most voluptuous, juicy, amazing formula. And if you guys haven't tried this, oh my gosh. So this is what the shade looks like right there. By the way, ignore my nails. I did color the other day and oops. Uh, but that right there is what it looks like. This is like the most like, you know what? I'm just gonna put on my lips right now so you guys can see because it looks so good. Love it so much. I'm just using my phone to... You guys can see just how like plump and healthy and makes my lips look. It's a weird word, healthy, but like the formula of this is just amazing. It feels so good on my lips, so plump, so juicy. It doesn't give like a tingling feeling or anything, but it's just very, very juicy and voluptuous on the lips. I love it. The smell of it, it makes you want to like eat it. I don't know what it is, but it is so good. Oh my God. If you're looking for a lip gloss that's really going to plump your lips, like you're going to feel that tingly feeling, it's actually going to make them look a lot bigger. This is from Buxom and they have their full on plumping lip cream. And honestly, I feel like their other lip glosses do the exact same thing as well, even though they don't say plumping. This is in the shade White Russian. Love this one. This is a very, very pale, pale nude color. You guys will be able to see the difference between this one and the Fenty Beauty Fussy. So this right here is what it looks like. It is a very, very pale nude color, but it is so beautiful. It's very shiny. It actually, you can feel your lips actually getting bigger. Like anytime that I wear this, I swear people are like, whoa, girl, did you get your lips done? <laughs> and no, I've never gotten my lips done. They're just naturally very big, but I do like to add some lip liner, some lipstick and throw this on top of it. And girl, your lips look completely different. This is so worth the price point. Your lips don't burn. They definitely tingle a little bit. It's kind of like a minty sensation, but they are so, those are just so good. They're so worth it. And this one is in the shade Erin. And I love this one as well. It's very similar, but I just wanted to get a bunch of different ones and they were on sale at one point at Ulta. Um, but Buxom's lip products are just like to die for. Um, so this is what the color looks like. So they look very, very similar, like almost identical, but this one's like a little bit more pinky. Um, but I love it so much, so, so much. Um, and then I have two really good ones from ColourPop. If you're looking for more of an inexpensive lip gloss, the first one is the I Love Set E ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in the shade Curvy, and this is very very pigmented like it looks almost like a lipstick you guys can see the shade right there it is so beautiful and it is so worth i mean what these are like five dollars and they look exactly like anastasia beverly hills liquid lipsticks like no one would ever know the difference in packaging they're just beautiful i love this and then the other one i really like is in the shade uh fairy floss and this is a very sheer lipstick but it is so beautiful so that is that one down there. So it's a little bit more pinky than um, curvy up on top. So curvy is gonna be a little bit more brown neutral than fairy floss. Another affordable lip gloss that I have is the NYX Butter Gloss. This is a very, very beautiful, glossy pink color. So this one's in the shade Creme Brulee. I love the butter glosses. They're very, very buttery and just like glossy, um, but this is, the shade right there creme brulee and it is a beautiful pink as you guys can tell it is super 
super pink compared to the other ones, but I really, really like it. It's still really pretty. If you're looking for more of a pinky nude or you're more of a pink nude type of person, definitely go for that one. And I think that one's only like $5 as well. So I love that. And then I have two more lip glosses. One of them is from Dose of Colors. This one is barely there. I believe this one was a collaboration with I Love Study, if I'm not mistaken. Very nude, very, very beautiful. This formula is awesome. It is one of my everyday lip glosses, which is this one right there. So you can see kind of how that compares to the other ones. And then I just have one more nude lip gloss and this is from the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Collection. And this is the Midnight Cowgirl Lip Gloss. So this also has a very kind of minty, very minty smell and taste to it. I knew it tastes like it, but I didn't know if it would actually smell like it. So that right there is the Naked Cowgirl. So I just, I really, really Naked Cowgirl. Midnight Cowgirl, but anyways, that is about all that I have to show you guys. I know that is a ton of nudes, but that is mainly what my collection consists of. I have a ton of colors as well, but I use nudes on a daily basis. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. Every single one of these holds a very special place in my heart. Um, and I hope that these kind of helped you pick out some that would be good for your skin tone or if you're looking for some inexpensive ones, I wanted to make sure that I threw those in there for all of you. But thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel and I hope to see you all in my next one. Leave some suggestions down below before you guys leave on what else you guys wanna see and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.